Dear students, greetings for the day. Today we will discuss about introduction to computers. A computer is a machine that can be instructed to carry out sequences of arithmetic or logical operations automatically via computer programming. Modern computers have the ability to follow generalized sets of operations, called programs. These programs enable computers to perform an extremely wide range of tasks. A complete computer including the hardware, the operating system, main software, and peripheral equipment required and used for full operation can be referred to as a computer system. This term may as well be used for a group of computers that are connected and work together, in particular a computer network or computer cluster. Computers are used as control systems for a wide variety of industrial and consumer devices. This includes simple special purpose devices like microwave ovens and remote controls, factory devices such as industrial robots and computer aided design, and also general purpose devices like personal computers and mobile devices such as smartphones. The internet is run on computers and it connects hundreds of millions of other computers and their users. Components of computer system, computer hardware dash are physical parts slash intangible parts of a computer. Egg input devices, output devices, central processing unit and storage devices computer software dash also known as programs or applications. They are classified into two classes namely, system software and application software live where dash is the computer user also known as aware of the human way. The user commands the computer system to execute on instructions. Hardware refers to the physical, tangible computer equipment and devices, which provide support for major functions such as input, processing, internal storage, computation and control, output, secondary storage, for day to and programs, and communication. Computer software, or simply software, is a collection of day to or computer instructions that tell the computer how to work. This is in contrast to physical hardware, from which the system is built and actually performs the work. In computer science and software engineering, computer software is all information processed by computer systems, programs and data. Computer software includes computer programs, libraries and related non-executable data, such as online documentation or digital media. Computer hardware and software require each other and neither can be realistically used on its own. Pre-20th century, the Ishango bone, a bone tool dating back to prehistoric Africa. Devices have been used to aid computation for thousands of years, mostly using one-to-one -one correspondence with fingers. The earliest counting device was probably a form of tally stick. Later record-keeping aids throughout the Fertile Crescent included calculi, clay spheres, cones, etc which represented counts of items, probably livestock or grains, sealed in hollow unbaked clay containers. The use of counting rods is one example. First computing device, Charles Babbage, an English mechanical engineer and polymath, originated the concept of a programmable computer. Considered the father of the computer, he conceptualized and invented the first mechanical computer in the early 19th century. After working on his revolutionary difference engine, designed to aid in navigational calculations, in 1833 he realized that a much more general design, an analytical engine, was possible. 
the input of programs and data was to be provided to the machine by a punched cards, a method being used at the time to direct mechanical looms such as the jackward loom. For output, the machine would have a printer, a curve plotter and a bell. The machine would also be able to punch numbers onto cards to be read in later. The engine incorporated an arithmetic logic unit, control flow in the form of conditional branching and loops, and integrated memory, making it the first design for a general purpose computer that could be described in modern terms as Turing complete. During the first half of the 20th century, many scientific computing needs were met by increasingly sophisticated analog computers, which used a direct mechanical or electrical model of the problem as a basis for computation. However, these were not programmable and generally lacked the versatility and accuracy of modern digital computers. The first modern analog computer was a type predicting machine, invented by Sir William Thomson in 1872. The differential analyzer, a mechanical analog computer designed to solve differential equations by integration using wheel and disk mechanisms, was conceptualized in 1876 by James Thomson, the brother of the more famous Lord Kelvin. By 1938, the United States Navy had developed an electromechanical analog computer small enough to use aboard a submarine. This was the torpedo data computer, which used trigonometry to solve the problem of firing a torpedo at a moving target. During World War II similar devices were developed in other countries as well. Replica of Zeus's Z3, the first fully automatic, digital, electromechanical, computer. Early digital computers were electromechanical, electric switches drove mechanical relays to perform the calculation. These devices had a low operating speed and were eventually superseded by much faster all-electric computers, originally using vacuum tubes. The Z2, created by German engineer Konrad Zeus in 1939, was one of the earliest examples of an electromechanical relay computer. In 1941, Zeus followed his earlier machine up with the Z3, the world's first working electromechanical programmable, fully automatic digital computer. The Z3 was built with 2000 relays, implementing a 22-bit word length that operated at a clock frequency of about 5 to 10 Hz. Program code was supplied on punched film while data could be stored in 64 words of memory or supplied from the keyboard. It was quite similar to modern machines in some respects, pioneering numerous advances such as floating point numbers. Rather than the harder to implement decimal system, used in Charles Babbage's earlier design, using a binary system meant that Zeus's machines were easier to build and potentially more reliable, given the technologies available at that time. The Z3 was Turing complete. The ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, was the first electronic programmable computer built in the US. Although the ENIAC was similar to the Colossus, it was much faster, more flexible, and it was Turing complete. Like the Colossus, a program on the ENIAC was defined by the states of its patch cables and switches, a far cry from the stored program electronic machines that came later. Once the program was written, it had to be mechanically set into the machine with manual resetting of plugs and switches. The programmers of the ENIAC were six women, often known collectively as the ENIAC girls. It combined the high speed of electronics with the ability to be programmed for many complex problems. It could add or subtract 5,000 times a second, a thousand times faster than any other machine. It also had modules to multiply, divide, and square root. High-speed memory was limited to 20 words, about 80 bytes, built under the direction of John Mauchley and J. 
Press Paracut at the University of Pennsylvania, ENIAC's development and construction lasted from 1943 to full operation at the end of 1945. The machine was huge, weighing 30 tons, using 200 kilowatts of electric power and contained over 18,000 vacuum tubes, 1,500 relays, and hundreds of thousands of resistors, capacitors, and inductors.